Okay, students, in this video, we are going to divide negative x to the third plus 4x squared plus 9 by x minus 3. And there are two ways that we can use to divide polynomials. The first one is what we call the long way. Uh, basically, this is what you learn in elementary. Divide negative x to the third plus 4x squared plus 9. Divide that by x minus 3. Notice I left uh, some space between 4x squared and 9. It's because I need to put a placeholder. Your polynomial must be in standard form. Notice the degrees 3, 2, 1, and 0. This doesn't change the polynomial. It just makes it to look like it's in standard form. Divide that by x minus 3. So consider the first term, x and negative x to the third. How many times can x divide negative x to the third? The answer is going to be negative x squared times. Negative x squared times, or negative x squared times negative 3 is positive 3x squared. Negative x squared times x is negative x to the third. The next step is to subtract these. So you got 4 minus 3, we get 1x squared, negative x to the third minus negative x to the third, it's going to be 0. Next, we drop this 0x term, and again, do the same thing all over again. How many times can x divide x squared? And the answer is 1x times. So x times negative 3 is negative 3x. x times x is x squared. Subtract those two. 0 minus negative 3. What we get? 3x. This goes away. The last thing is to drop this constant of 9. And we repeat the same process. How many times can x divide 3x? The answer is 3 times. 3 times negative 9. I'm sorry, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 3 times x is 3x. And the last step here is to subtract. 9 minus negative 9 is 18. And this goes away. So the final answer here is negative x squared plus x plus 3 plus 18 over x minus 3, x minus 3. So this is the final answer using the long way method. Now there's something else called synthetic division. Synthetic division, and that's basically doing the same thing, except we focus more on the constants uh, and the coefficients. So looking at this up here, let's consider just the coefficients. This one here is negative 1, you have 4, don't forget the placeholder 0 and 9. Divide that by x minus 3. So this must always be 1. If it's not 1, you need to make it into a 1. We want to take the opposite of whatever number that is. If that's negative 3, this is 3. So this is how this works. Let's drop the first number down, negative 1. Multiply 3 times negative 1, we get negative 3. Add those 2, we get 1. Again, 3 times 1 is 3. Add those two, we get 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Add those two, we get 18. So then your answer is going to be negative 1x, and it's always going to be 1 less than your original polynomial. 1x squared plus 1x plus 3 plus 
the remainder, 18 over x minus 3. So same thing that we get what we had up here, except I feel like this took longer. Please let me know if you have any questions.